Hi folks and welcome to Death Valley, the hottest place on earth. After a two week visit we're going to take you to our favourite places, some of which which require high clearance off-road vehicles. Let's start with the mysterious moving rocks at the racetrack. If you're the adventurous type, the racetrack is about 83 miles from Furnace Creek and then a further 30 miles along rugged terrain to reach it. The trail to the racetrack is full of boulders and rocks that will slice through tyres, so large off-road tyres are essential to get you there. Its remoteness helps keep it pristine. Imagine a place in Death Valley, where rocks move all by themselves. Welcome to the racetrack playa, where stones slide across the ground leaving trails behind them. Scientists say wind and ice help them move, but it's still a bit of a mystery. It's a cool, weird part of nature that shows how amazing our world can be. The racetrack playa is a dried out lake bed, and it's one of the flattest natural surfaces on earth. The north end is just two inches higher than the south end. For those of you who don't know me, I am a practicing wet plate colonial photographer, uh, which is photography from the 1850s. And uh, one of my dreams has always been to come up to this place and capture the moving rocks on a piece of tin. Badwater Basin in Death Valley is the lowest spot in North America, 282 feet below sea level. It's a huge flat area that is usually covered with salt, but since the last hurricane, water has been present here, which is extremely rare and we were lucky to see it. The crunchy salt bed reminded us of icy snow. For those of you who are wondering about our rig, we are traveling around in a 28 foot flying cloud airstream and towing with a Ford F250 diesel truck. We are about 48 foot long when towing. In the vast expanse of Death Valley lies the Aramagosa Opera House, a beacon of art and culture in the middle of the desert. This isn't just an opera house, it's a testament to the power of dreams and the relentless spirit of one woman. Marta Beckett. In 1967, Marta stumbled upon this abandoned building and saw a vision of hope and beauty. She transformed it into a vibrant theatre, painting every inch of its interior with lavish murals, creating an immersive world of her own. For decades, Marta performed for audiences that came from all over the globe, proving that even in the most unlikely places, art can flourish. The drive to the artist's palette is an easy one. It's on a great paved road and provides amazing views across the valley. Death Valley's artist's palette is a burst of natural color where minerals paint the hills in vivid hues. A quick glance reveals a spectrum from greens to reds, showcasing the desert's unexpected beauty and artistic side. Dante's view offers a breathtaking panorama of Death Valley, capturing its vast rugged beauty from over 5,000 feet above. From this vantage point you can see the contrast of the valley from the salt flats of Badwater Basin below to the towering peaks surrounding.
sure to visit the Mesquite Sand Dunes first thing in the morning at sunrise when it's nice and cool and there's a lot less people around. This place is so remote and extremely peaceful, you're absolutely going to love it. This is the first hike in a long while that we had to climb anything, so we are a little rusty. Well, that guy never said we definitely recommend like doing yeah. these hikes in the winter months when uh, you can oh. do it quite comfortably. It's just slippery. Yeah. Well, let's go up a bit and see what we see. Yeah, it's quite tricky going up this uh, slick marble. It's very slippery. But it's a lot fun and easier going down. Death Valley's past was very volcanic. This is a Yubihibi crater. Zabriskie Point is one of Death Valley's true gems and is also a photographer's dream. This unique landscape has inspired some famous works. It was used as a filming location for Star Wars, creating an out of the world setting. It's also influenced U2's The Joshua Tree album with its stunning desert photos, and also helped shape Pink Floyd's song Us and Them on Dark Side of the Moon album, using its vast beauty to explore deep themes. This place is more than just scenery, it's a source of creativity for artists in music and movies. Death Valley is full of surprises and one of the great surprises we found this trip was the oasis at the Death Valley Inn. Well, it's goodbye from the hottest place on earth. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time.